Today we're going to talk about a topic that's rarely discussed openly, but one that many pastors and church staff members silently struggle with, and that's the feeling of being trapped in ministry. Hi, my name is Todd Rhodes, and thank you for joining me for the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. I'm one of the co-founders over at chemistrystaffing.com and love the opportunity I get to spend with you every day right here, the podcast. I don't know if you've ever felt like you're on a hamster wheel, like you're running tirelessly, but going nowhere. If you ever feel like that, or if you've ever felt like that, this episode is for you. Because maybe you might be burned out, you might be exhausted or disillusioned. Maybe maybe you feel like you've lost your passion or your purpose. Maybe you feel like you've lost your faith. Maybe you look at the future and see nothing but more of the same, and you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and, and it seems like there's no escape in sight. And if that's you, I want you to hear me today. I want you to know that you're not alone. Many pastors, many church staff members feel this way at some point in their ministry journey. I know I have. And the demands of ministry can be relentless, and the expectations can seem overwhelming, and the isolation can seem isolating. But there's some good news. There is hope. And you don't have to stay trapped in this cycle of burnout and despair. As a matter of fact, I want to share with you some steps that you can take, hopefully, to help you reclaim your joy and your energy, and your sense of purpose. So here are a few things, let's see, two, four, six things that I want to share with you today that you can start to do right now that hopefully will help you if you're feeling trapped or burned out and you don't know what to do. Okay, number one, acknowledge your feelings. Don't bury your emotions or pretend that everything's okay because it's not. It's okay to feel overwhelmed and it's okay to be exhausted. It's even okay sometimes to be angry. Acknowledging your feelings is the first step towards finding some healing and some and some solutions. So acknowledge your feelings. And, and number two, reach out for help. Talk to a trusted friend or a mentor or a counselor or a therapist. Don't try to go through this alone. That's a mistake. There are people who care about you and want to support you. And here's one of the sad things if you're in a situation like this, sometimes you don't have a trusted friend. Sometimes you don't have a mentor. Sometimes sometimes everyone that's close to you is either a family member or a church member, and you can't reach out and be honest with them. That's one of the things that I actually enjoy doing as kind of a mentor and a counselor and a coach here at Chemistry is that if you need somebody that you need to talk to on an ongoing basis, Let's talk and figure out a regular routine and how we can make that happen. You can reach out to me anytime at, at podcast at chemistrystaffing.com. But reach out for help. Find someone, a trusted friend or mentor, a counselor, a therapist, someone that you can talk to. Don't do this alone. Number three, take a break if you can. Even a short sabbatical or a few days away can do wonders for your physical and your mental health. Give yourself permission to rest and to recharge and connect with yourself. And I know some of you might be saying, Todd, I don't have any vacation left. You know what? As a pastor, you probably have some flexibility in your schedule. You probably don't have to be in the office from nine to five every day. Some do, but most don't. So you have a little bit of flexibility. Even if you can get away, even for a short time, maybe a day or a a couple days or a few days, or maybe even a few hours for a couple days in a row, give yourself some permission to rest and recharge and reconnect. Next thing I think is helpful is to reevaluate your priorities. Are you trying, we talked about this, I think, on an episode last week. Are you trying to do too much? Are you neglecting your own needs in the pursuit of ministry and to do everything for everybody else? It's okay to say no. I'd encourage you to go back and listen to that that episode we did. I believe it was last week about the power of saying no in ministry. It's okay to say no to some things and to focus on what truly matters. As you reevaluate your priorities, as you take a break, as you reach out for help and acknowledge these feelings, chances are you're going to slowly, and this doesn't happen overnight, but you're slowly begin to recover your passion. What drew you to ministry in the first place? Reconnect with your calling and your purpose 
and your joy of serving God. And that comes from taking a break and reevaluating and getting help and acknowledging where you are. And then finally, lastly, explore new possibilities. If your current ministry role isn't fulfilling, don't be afraid to explore other options. There's there are countless ways that you can serve God and, and use your gifts. And I, I believe in, in many cases, God will honor your diligent kind of searching and evaluating where he would have you to be. So remember, it might feel like you're trapped, but really, you're not trapped. You have choices. You have the power to make some changes, even when it seems like you don't. You do. You have the power to seek some help. You have the power to create a ministry and a life that is fulfilling and sustainable. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it's possible. So here's your bottom line. Feeling trapped in ministry, it's a common experience. You're not alone, but it doesn't have to be your reality. By acknowledging your feelings and reaching out for help, making intentional choices, you can yeah, you can find some hope and some healing and a renewed sense of purpose. If you're feeling trapped or burned out or hopeless, feel free to reach out to me, podcast at chemistrystaffing.com. I'm here to listen, to offer support, and to help you navigate this challenging season. You really don't have to walk this road alone. Reach out. I do uh, a good amount of coaching and and, uh, mentoring, and if that's something that might be helpful to you at this time in your ministry, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Podcast at chemistrystaffing.com. Hang in there. God is for you. We're for you here at Chemistry Staffing. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow right here on the podcast.